Firstly, please connect the battery to the boat. Then, put the battery into the fixed position. Close the lid and tighten. Keep the water off the battery case. This is an external antenna that boosts the signal. Also, tighten it. Now, switch the boat. Switch the remote controller. Then, test to see if the left and right motors work properly. Then, test the hopper function. There are four buttons on the remote controller. The two buttons on the left are used to control the hopper. Now, let me show you how to operate. Click key 1, left hopper opens. Click key 2, right hopper opens. Long press key 1, left rear hopper opens. Long press key 2, right rear hopper opens. Hopper's function demonstration is completed. Now, demonstrate the operation of the headlight belt. There is an button A at the upper left corner of the remote controller. There is a button B at the upper right corner. These two buttons can control the boat lights. Click the button A. The light is flashing. Press button A again which means off. Press button B again which means long light. Under the light is on. Click the button B at the upper right corner. You can switch the colors of the light strip. There are seven colors in total. Choose the color according to your preference. Anchor point operation method for the GPS bait boat. First step, when the boat is on the water, it must run five to seven meters from the shore. Let the boat have enough room for automatic calibration. Long press key four and click the button A at the upper left corner. At the same time, the boat turns around a clockwise circle. Then, the boat turns around a counterclockwise clockwise circle. The boat will stop automatically that indicate the calibration is complete. The GPS icon on the remote controller can be seen during calibration. You can locate if there is the signal icon. If no, you cannot operate the GPS location function. Now, the calibration is complete. The boat will run back to the shore. Set number 1 as the original point. Now, set an origin point on the shore. Setting the original point should be after the calibration. There must be the GPS icon and the GPS location can be operated. If there is no GPS icon, it means there is no GPS signal. The origin icon is flashing on the left side. It indicates there is no location. After we complete the original point setting, there will be no beep. Now, show and operate the original point setting. Long press the key 4 and click the key 1 at the same time. If the location is successful, there will be a star icon next to the number. Star icon means the location is successful. Now, we operate the boat and let it run out and to make the anchor den. Push the two joysticks forward while clicking the button B and the upper right corner. You can keep the boat cruising. When the boat reaches the designated location, click the button B at the upper right corner. The boat will stop. Now, we are setting a den. If we use number 2 as a fixed point, there are two dial buttons at the upper left and upper right corners used to select anchor points. There is points from 1 to 99. Now, select number 2 as the den point. The operation method is also to long press the key 4 and click key 1 at the same time. After the positioning is successful, there will be a star icon next to the number. If you want to set the other anchor points, we can operate the boat to the other dens. Stop the boat when the boat reaches the den. I'd like to set number 3. We can operate the boat to the number 3. The operation method is also to long press the key 4 and click key one at the same time. After the positioning is successful, there will be a star icon next to the number. Now, we want the boat return automatically to its origin points. How to operate? Push the dial button. One select number one. Click button three. The boat will return to its original point automatically. All going dens should select a point number. Click the key three again. Now, click key three and the boat will come back automatically. What the numbers here show is the distance between the boat and the point one. Now the boat is running back. The number of meters on the display is decreasing. The beep of the remote controller is is reminding the boat is approaching to the origin point. Now the boat has reached the anchor point. 
All setting anchor points, they are all have star icon, can make it run to the anchor point automatically with one click. Now select point 2, click button 3, the boat is sailing autonomously to point 2. If you want the stop the boat, click the button B at the upper right corner to cancel the automatic operation. The boat has arrived at point 2, our bait boat. When the battery is low and the signal is lost, it will return to the origin automatically. Now, let me show. We turn the remote controller off. The state is signal loss. The boat will judge signal loss at about 30 seconds, then return to the original point automatically. The boat is turning back automatically. The remote controller is kept off. The boat has returned to its original point. One more thing to be noted, the remote controller is with anchor points. When we run out of points or don't want to use them, we long press key 4, get rid of all the anchor points, the signal icon next to our anchor points. Now they are all gone. Now, the beep sound, it's reminding that we don't have any anchor points anymore. All anchor points should be reused and repositioning. Matters to be paid attention when operate the boat. When when the boat is calibrated automatically, cruise, or, on the way to anchors, they are all automatic. When we want to cancel all automatic operations, click key B at the upper right corner.